The Minecraft Bedrock Edition Marketplace now features a monthly subscription pass that gives you access to over 150 Marketplace DLCs. All players are eligible to a free monthly trial. This will cost £3.29, which translates to around about $4. According to the Minecraft Marketplace, you will get access to all of this content, which is worth over $150. Hey everyone, my name is Echo, and I'm here to find if it's worth getting or not. I want to make a disclaimer. This is not a paid advertisement. It's not a paid video. I haven't been paid by Minecraft. I haven't been paid by Microsoft. Everything you see in today's video is based on my opinions and my opinions only. To get started with this, just head to the Minecraft Marketplace. Now at the top, I know here in the UK and people in the US, it will say Marketplace Pass. Start your free 30-day trial. Now, not everybody will have access to this. And if you do, let me know in the comment section your region and if you do or do not. Now, for players that don't actually see this banner, in order to access this, on the left-hand side of your screen, you actually have to go to this button right here. Now, I actually don't really know what individual buttons offer in Minecraft. That's the marketplace. This is my content. This is add-ons. I've also had a lot of people saying, hey, Echo, are the add-ons actually included in the Minecraft Marketplace Pass? No. As of me making this video, they are not included in the Marketplace Pass. That might actually change in the near future. So I feel for a lot of people, most people aren't going to tap on this. And if they don't have the banner, they probably didn't know that it existed. There is a frequently asked questions section, but the most popular question is, is, is this different from Realms Plus? Yes. Realms Plus and the Marketplace Pass are completely separate subscriptions, which I think is a complete mess, and I think both of them should have been combined into one. My first set of opinions on this is, I get a free trial for 30 days. So I don't have to pay a single penny, a single dime, a single dollar until those 30 days are over. Now, for someone as myself who does purchase and share a lot of marketplace content, this makes sense for me to do. I see this as a try before you buy. Now, obviously, the Minecraft marketplace has a lot of content. There is some good quality content out there, but there is also some terrible content out there as well that we have reviewed over the past couple of years. The problem with the Minecraft Marketplace is if you wanted to try something, you can't. And if you purchase it and it's terrible, you don't get a refund. So this comes in at £3.29. I'm going to see if this is worth getting or not. So welcome to the Marketplace Pass. And I'm now able to start browsing. Something a lot of people are interested in right now on the Marketplace is like weapon related things. This on its own would have cost me 990 Minecraft coins, which translates to £4.99. This is already more expensive than the pass itself. But because we have the pass access, I may be able to just go ahead and download it. Apparently, we start with a jetpack here. Now, there's two different ways to play. We have free play, survival, but with all weapon access, or survival, regular, where you have to craft them yourself. All right, let's push this. This gives you access to everything. There's also a guide on how to craft everything you need in this world. So far, so good. Nothing to really complain about. There's an explanation on each sword and what they can actually do. And to be fair, there's quite a lot of content available inside of here. You do end up with custom creatures who, who, who do try to fight you. All right, I like that though. Okay, I kind of have an incentive. Oh, we can charge this. How do, how do I fire this then? Oh! Okay, that's pretty good. I think the incentive behind this is that you've ended up on some kind of planets. Now, obviously, by killing these creatures, you will end up with these, which, as explained in the books, can teach you how to craft specific things. Be careful with this, though, because this thing, like, if you spam this, can become very, very laggy. Let's switch out some of these weapons, though. Let's try something like these. Uh, this, is that a rocket launcher? Are these the only weapons that we've got? Oh, it throws creepers. 
Hey, oh, we got creepers on our side. <laughs> it gets to a point where the creepers will actually just start chasing you. I mean, it's not really friendly, is it? We've got this. Hold on. Oh, five charges, right? I don't think so. Uh-oh, rocket jumping. Hey, oh, we got rocket jumping in Minecraft now. What about this? Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing does cause explosions. We got ourselves some mechs. Do you jump? There we go. Incredibly loud. Powering down. So wait, I'm curious then. Can you like hold these? Let me climb. Although I don't like the constant noise that this mech has. There's an even bigger guy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we fighting now? Come on. I wonder if these drop anything then. They surely got to drop something, right? Let's get him with this, the creeper launcher. Come on, creepers. Blow them up. Although, I, I really, it's really weird that the creepers can turn on you. That's not enough to bring this guy down? Yeah, these guys are strong, huh? I guess if you wanted to spam this with your... Did he drop anything? He did drop something. There we go. We managed to pick it up at least. It's only priced at 310 Minecraft coins, which is £1.69. I think this is generally just an island floating on the sea for some kind of survival experience. So we'll download this one. Yes, we are right. This is just an empty ocean world that they've built this house on that gives you access to specific locations to go to. So this one says the Nether Islands. And I think this one over here says it's the End Island. I am curious though, if any of these so-called barrels actually have anything inside of them they do and it's quite overpowered loot to start off with so theoretically you are just practically downloading someone's survival world if somebody built a survival world for you and said you have to buy this for two dollars would you do it so me being curious i wanted to see if this world was infinite water it's not even an infinite water world it's like a thousand by a thousand by a thousand so in survival, <laughs> you get to, to this point and then you just fall and die anyway. <laughs> so yeah, for this reason, this is why I'm glad I would have the marketplace pass. I think where people might find value in this is texture packs. Texture packs are so incredibly popular in the Minecraft community. And there are so many different ones available down to super modern... You've got like the uwu vibe if you wanted something like that. And this one's priced at five pounds. So this one is kind of pushing double the price of the marketplace pass. So this is what I was curious about when it comes to the texture packs. Do they go to my packs section? No, there is a marketplace section, which obviously means after a certain period of time, this would be gone if you canceled your pass. So they weren't stupid behind this. It's not a case of you downloading it and you get to keep it. But I, I like the whole texture pack thing. So I think I think just in the texture packs themselves, there is quite a lot of value in these marketplace passes. The thing with texture packs is everyone has their own likes and dislikes. For me, I like interfaces. And this interface to me is pretty cool. I also like to mess around with mobs. I'm curious if the new mobs have also changed as well inside of this. If we were to type in warden, I like to have a look at what the warden would look like. Uh, creeper, for example. Let's check out what the creeper would look like. Zombies. We just grab a whole bunch of mobs here. So we've got bog skeleton not changed. Armadillo not changed. And breeze not currently changed. Uh, alarm has been updated. Ghast is relatively happy. Warden doesn't look so evil and looks really, really colorful. So does the creeper. That's a serious uwu face right there. Zombie horses. Um, I'm not a big fan of the tree texture themselves or the water. So this would be a great way for me to say, mm, this pack wouldn't typically be for me. Let's change it for something else. Now, I will give the developers credit here. Global resources. Like I said, we have my packs and the marketplace packs. Every single pack that is available via the pass is located right here. So you don't have to just keep searching through all that content. Let's say we wanted to check out 
I don't know, some PvP stuff. Maybe you like to play servers quite often. And I'm I obviously going to have a question now saying, can we use this? Uh, I'm going to disable this one. Just keep this one on. I'm curious if this actually does work in servers. And the answer is yes. If you do enable a PvP pack, it is also applied to servers. The server packs aren't going to prevent you from using your own one, which I think is a pretty nice addition. Come on then, Bozo, let's do it. Obviously, this is well known for short sword related things. I'm going to get you, bro. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, you can just use these and, and get into some fights with some players like this guy here. Got a short sword. So let's see if this makes anything better for me. Aha, there you go. Time to share some of my opinions. It looks like some of the garbage clickbait content has still managed to leak into the marketplace pass. But the advantage is you are able to try before you buy. Like this is one of those best mentions defend them kind of things that you've probably seen on YouTube clickbaited a million times. But I feel like this is something that you and your friend could probably build in creative in a matter of hours. Why would you want to pay someone $3 for this? So I stand by what I said at the start. And what I said is I think it's a great try before you buy. I really like what they did do with the global resources and being able to download a whole range of texture packs inside of here. I think that's really, really good. I like that side. However, what I am going to say here is I feel like the content that is available inside of here is content that's been around for quite some time and is just being recirculated. I've seen tons of this stuff available for a very, very long time. And my opinion about that is there's going to be a lot of people that don't necessarily want to check these out and i'm pretty sure pretty sure i already own this and i did i did a review of this and actually this was pretty good this was actually a pretty good one so instead of having to download them all the time and what i think about the marketplace right now is there's just so much of a gamble that you're taking because of the whole clickbait thumbnail situation you definitely take a very big gamble it's like please don't be garbage please don't be garbage you're either yes i escaped it or Man, I just wasted three, four, five dollars. So in that instance, I guess it's worth trying for the 30 days and just testing out a whole bunch of content. But like I said, the texture packs on their own, they're, they're definitely worth it. They could have easily increased the price of this. So my overall opinion is, well, from my perspective, will I be extending the marketplace past, past those 30 days? Absolutely not. I don't think there is enough content in there. Like I said... What the people want right now is add-ons. If this stuff starts to get included, I think people would be more inclined to do it because these can cost like three, four, five, six dollars a pop. And I, I guarantee you within 30 days, people might not want to use these. Maybe something like World Utilities. I feel like World Utilities is a great add-on because it just enhances your survival experience. But I wanted to try it before buying it. And that was the whole reason why we did this today. Let me know your opinions in the comment section and have a wonderful day.